What's going on guys? Carter here. Got another video for you. We're doing another freaking sword on this channel. This is now a sword channel, I guess. <laughs> another sword review on a dark sword armory. Knight, bastard, medieval sword. Got it right here. Came in today. Fresh out of Canada. That's right. These are made in Canada. I don't my thoughts on it. Uh, similar to some stuff that's going on or, or did go on in the knife community. I was excited to get it, but I was nervous at the same time. I've heard that they've made some great strides in their quality, what they're producing, and I uh, wanted to see for myself what I was gonna get for this price range from Dark Sword Armory. But before I get into it, I wanna show you, show you some swag. Now I know Matthew Jensen hates this kind of stuff, but I actually like it. You get a nice little envelope here with a cool embossed logo with the double griffins. Pretty cool. You also get a pretty sweet sticker right here. I love this kind of stuff, guys. I love stickers. I love things like that. I know some people think it it takes away from the sword in terms of, uh, you know, they'd rather that money go into the sword, but um, I think it's cool. Branding, things like that, I think it's cool. Here you get a warranty information. You get a cool inspection notice, so where they kind of tick off all of the inspection pieces before it ships out with a signature. That also, I think, is very, very cool. Business card, and then just a general code 25% off on the sword came packaged very well nice sturdy box um, wrapped like crazy in cellophane I tried to do an unboxing on this video and I had to ditch it because I could not get it out of the cellophane it was uh, just wrapped all the way around this thing it took me a good 15 minutes to kind of cut it out I don't know if I was doing it wrong but uh, yeah um, that was a problem so anyways on to the sword so first off impressions before I get too far into it Sorry, I was just checking some final. Um... Some things there. So, before I get into it, let's start with the scabbard because I tend to take the scabbard off and then I completely forget to talk about it. So, you have a nice little metal shape on the end here. Um, it's fine, it's finished okay, kind of a little bit of rough, but it no major dings, it looks pretty good. It, it's gonna serve its function, it's gonna protect that tip. Uh, beautiful leather scabbard, which I think is a highlight of these Dark Sword Armory swords. Very simple, um, but you do get these nice ridge designs in here. Looks very, very good. The leather is nice, thick, soft, and supple. Yeah. It's got that smell. It's got that leather smell. So good. Uh, wood. Wood on the inside, so it is a scabbard. Doesn't rattle. Uh, one of the things that, it's got the rain guards on here as well. Very, very nice. It's a very, very nice scabbard. And I think that's important because when you look at the price of this sword compared to, say, some of the nicer Chinese offerings, uh, Ronin Katana, things like that, that you might be comparing something like this to, it's these kind of things that make the price worth it to me, getting things like this. Um, but the fit is like, so buttery smooth and it's it's a little tight but it's gonna wear in and be perfect um, but I'd rather it be a little tight than too loose know what I'm saying look at that look how it just kind of it's like a soft close like it just glides right in there absolutely love it so sword itself right that's what we really want to talk about so as a 5160 they claim it has a dual hardening with the core being a little bit softer than everything on the outside. I've never seen actual confirmation of that, but that's what they say they have. Nice polished blade. You're gonna get more of a polish on this than uh, you typically will get in uh, swords at this price range. So that is a plus. Um, the edges on the fuller there are nice and crisp. That's one thing that I noticed. They're not super fuzzy that you can get kind of on production swords. You'll see that a lot where the fuller lines and kind of the diamond line is very fuzzy where they do rough grinding and then they take it and kind of basically buff it into oblivion. So nice crisp lines on there. The edge was standard, nothing special. It's sharp, but it's not razor sharp. Um, you know, I can touch it. I can do, I can slowly move my hands down it. Definitely don't want to do it fast. 
reasonably sharp. It cut noodles about as well as any production sword I've used. Um, Hanway, Kingston Arms, um, it's about as sharp as that. Um, but overall, it's, it's a nice blade. And one thing that's good about these is you can, if you want, you can take these and put a, a higher buff on them with some flits or some uh, just whatever buffing compound you want. Remove some of the micro scratches. It did have a few scratches on the blade, uh, but certainly not as bad as some and about what I would expect from just about any blade. Um, even swords that are over a thousand dollars, you're going to get a few scuffs and marks. It's just kind of name of the game. You just cannot keep them pristine um, and you, you breathe on them and you get marks on them. So overall, finish on the blade is very nice. It is perfectly straight. I don't see any waving or any um, forging marks or anything like that. Same thing goes for the, the guard. The quillins you can see right there, they've got an octo octagonal appearance to them, which is very, very nice. They're form-fitted, um, meaning they taper in right here. I'm trying to get a good kind of shot of that. They taper in, they've got a lot of form to them. They look very nice. Uh, they don't look like it's just a slab of steel that they kind of ground down and threw on there. Looks very, very good. As far as the gap into the guard, it's about standard. Um, there is a gap there. However, it's nice and even on both sides. Width wise, there's not much of a gap. It fits nice and tight, but you do have uh, a little bit here, um, but it's nothing crazy in my opinion. It's, it's kind of what you would expect from a, a production sword. You have the Tang. Um, unfortunately, there are some reports of some rat Tangs with this company, uh, but then there's also reports of really nice tangs. So seems like they're old style. They use some rat tangs, but they may have uh, gotten rid of that. Um, so moving on to the grip here, leather wrapped, cord wrapped, leather wrapped, wood core. Tang is epoxied in there. You have a nice transition into the pommel. You can see right there. So it tapers down from the center and then it flows nicely into that pommel. And you can see the pommel shape overall tapers this way into the peen block. You can see the uh, peen right there. The peen looks good. Um, I mean, it hasn't been like, they, they didn't try to remove the peen by grinding it down. Like some companies do, they left the peen there, which I think is fine. It looks, looks good, looks nice. Um, pommel overall, Looks very, very nice. Now, I don't want to go too into depth on the, the, the form and the, the details, but I do want to point out that the grip is nice and slim and in a good way. It fits in your hands very nicely. It's got an oval shape to it, so it gives you a good direction on the blade. Um, overall, I'm very, very impressed with how this thing handles. Balance point is about there, so about four and a half inches or so. That's kind of what it seems like. Um, overall, very handleable, cut very well, um, especially for factory edge. It's got a little bit of a, a kind of a mullet, right? So it has, I think a 34 inch blade, but then it has a 10 inch handle. So you can get a full two hand purchase on this, but the blade is not super long. So it's, it's kind of a, a mullet blade. <laughs> it's kind of the way I think of it. Full size handle and then medium size blade length. Um, overall, super excited, super happy to get this. Um, it's It impressed me. I think it's well worth the money. Um, these are kind of a, a mid-range purchase. So you're looking at about 600 with the scabbard, a little bit more if you want the, uh, the belt with it. And kind of like I said before, if you take into account kind of Overall fit and finish is about on par, on par with like Ronin Katana, but then on top of it, you get a much better grip, better design in my opinion, way more designs to choose from, and then a really nice scabbard. So that's it guys. First look at Dark Sword Armory. 
It is nice. I like it. I really like it. Man, the way this, it, it just feels so good when you're moving this thing around. Like it doesn't feel blade heavy. And I like getting a full two hand purchase on here. Uh, very nice. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. You take it easy. See ya.